Hi, God bless you today. I pray you're having a good day. If not, I pray this will encourage you as I share with you a word the Lord gave me just for you today. Stay with me. Daily words from God. Can we hear his voice? Most certainly. That is what this is all about. Join me. Sometimes, you know, we have to go to the other side of the river. We have to go to the other side of the sea. We have to look for the Lord. This is what happens sometimes. Uh, this is what happens, excuse me, John 6, 25 through 27. I just want to share this brief word with you, and I pray it encourages you this day. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they had to go on the other side. And they were looking for Jesus. They had to go on the other side. They said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? When did you come here? And Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Ye seek me, not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perish, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life, the son, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. And as we seek the presence of God in our situation, in every single situation, God will meet us at our need. He will take care of every need we have. My hands are pulsating right now. God is touching someone's life right now. That word was for you. Something you just said, that, there's that same word again. There, you know God's word will follow you. It will confirm to you. It will give you peace. You'll know that it's God Almighty. It's not just some word that came out of somebody's mouth. Because it, as Jesus said, you uh, seek me not because you saw miracles, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. When we partake of the presence of the Lord, we are filled. We have peace that passes all understanding. The Lord said, I will send, well, I'm going away to the Father now, but I'm sending a comforter to you. And also the Lord said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. For it says, labor not for the meat which perish, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life. That is the meat of God as we follow the Lord, as the Lord fills us with his presence his peace. It endures unto everlasting life. It will keep us until he comes. Thank you, Lord, for us, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. You see, the Father sealed Jesus. And the Father seals us because the Lord even prayed in the garden that we might be one. And in other words, when you are one with someone, like you're married, like there's a covenant, it is a sealed thing. It is a covenant. It is a blood covenant that no weapon can come up against. Nothing will separate you from the love of Christ. And you will be daily filled until your mission, thank you, Lord, that's for someone there, is completed. Only God knows when that day is. But daily, we trust him. We lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways, we acknowledge him. And he keeps us, even if our mother passes to everlasting life. Even if we're missing someone and they're far away as Marlena and I are praying for her family to return to California. Even in little things like Eric was needing a vehicle. 
and he was going one direction, but God turned it around and gave him a beautiful vehicle for half of the price. And it was a special car with a special everything. That is what God has for us. Special everything. When you walk with the favor of God, you have special everything. Because you partake of the loaf, the food that completes you, that fills you daily, gives you what you need. And you're not, you're not lacking for anything because you know that your Father will give it to you because it gives glory to Him as we give glory to Him, as we give God all the glory for everything in our life, everything you need. His eye is not so dim that it cannot see you. His ears are not so closed to someone else. They don't hear you. He sees you. He hears you. He loves you, and he will do it for you this day. Thank you, Father, for your precious word. Thank you for your presence in our life. Thank you that you complete us until you take us, Lord. Your meat that does not decay in this life, Father. But your meat, Father, continues with us, fills us, gives us everything we need. And we know that we know that we know it's you because it completes us. We feel your presence in every single word, Father God, and we thank you for that. We thank you that you're bigger than life, that you are all life, not only for the whole world, but for us personally, that you keep us as your body, together, that there is no distance because we are your body together and we are completed in you, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Look up and say, I receive that for me. I take that. I accept that. I say, yes, Father, that's for me. That's for me. I claim the promises. I know that I know that I know you are with me. No demon in hell will have power over me. And I receive it and I thank you and I give you all the glory, Father, this day and every day as I stay on the path for you, for you, in Jesus' name. I love you. I pray that has been an encouragement to you this day. In Jesus' name, send me your prayer requests to prayer at susanwaldrop.org. Your comments are always welcome. In Jesus' name, we know God is moving and blessing us every day, every day. And I pray over Stacy, Father. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for Pam. Thank you for Jan and Ben. Thank you for William. Thank you for Carnetta. In Jesus' name, I love you. Have a blessed day in him. Daily words from God. Can we hear his voice? Most certainly. That is what this is all about. Join me.